You guys may have noticed that I'm unusually large for a homosexual. I am not certain why this is the case. <laughs> my current working theory is that once my parents realized I was going to be gay, they figured they might as well raise the largest one in the county. <laughs> if they're not getting grandchildren out of the deal, at least they could get a blue ribbon. <laughs> I mean, the, the portion of the the Republican Party I, I have the most problem with is the, the Libertarian Tea Party movement for two reasons. First of all, teabagging is not a political movement. <laughs> it is a beautiful expression of love between a nutsack and a man's face. I'll show you later. And second of all, what are libertarians saying? They're essentially saying, hey, wouldn't it be cool if no one were in charge? And I cannot respect a political philosophy that is also the plot of don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. There are some social conservatives who think that fetuses are alive and abortion is murder. Uh, and I disagree, because I think if that were true, you would hear about a lot more haunted vaginas. <laughs> Did you queef? No, I have a poltergeist. Thank you, that was brilliant acting, don't you think? There are some advantages to being a gay man in our society. We get to be friends with black women for no reason. <laughs> no one understands why it works. It's just two strong flavors that go well together, like sea salt and dark chocolate. There are some advantages to being a gay man in our society. No one expects me to like Kings of Leon. 